Hey there, Jackie B from Math Hot by Jackie B. And in this video preview, I am previewing a new escape room, but this one is a little different in that you can get it absolutely free. It is a little shorter than most of my escape rooms. There are only three activities or three embedded games for the students to complete and one digit to find by moving objects. But it is a lot like most of my escape rooms. It gives them a great feel for it. And it's perfect for the first weeks of school for algebra one prep, or for really any students who have forgotten how to solve and write linear equations or determine the slope of a line from two points. So when you give them the link, the students will just hit go. There'll be an introduction. There's always an introduction in my escape rooms, whether it be a genially one like this or one that's on Google Sites. There's always an introduction that explains to the students what they're doing, how they got trapped, and how to get out. They'll click begin, and they'll have to move some things to find one of the digits. So there's they're, they're searching for... Um, they're trying to find four digits to a passcode, as the introduction had told them. And so some things they'll have to move, and some things they'll have to click on. So here they'll click on something, and this is going to be a linear equations matching game. This is the only one that opens in a different window. So when they're done and they've gotten the second digit, they'll just go back to their original tab, and they'll hit return to classroom. And they'll keep searching on things, they'll keep clicking on items, and sometimes there'll be a decoy. So Jim's telling you, nope, nothing here. So just click on Jim, get back to the classroom. And a lot of times it'll be an embedded game or something else. Like here, this is just a drag and drop. It's obviously self-checking. I'm going to get all of the answers wrong so we don't give any answers to students who might be looking for answers. So they'll hit check answers. Now, nothing is happening because I didn't get any of them right. If I had gotten them right, check marks would appear and there'd be a next task and they'd move on. But I'm just going to bail out and go back. So when they're done, when they've completed all three activities, they've found the missing digit, the missing first digit, they're gonna click on the keypad, and it's gonna say, do you have all four digits? And if you have all four digits, you're able to escape. So you'll go ahead here and you'll put the code in, and if I put the code in, you will not be able to see it, so I think it's safe that I do it, so that you see what happens when the students successfully escape. And that's it, students love these. And they really have a good time with it. Engaged students learn so much more than when they're not engaged. Just click on the link in the comments of this video and you will get your free escape room. I hope your students love it. Contact me and let me know how it went. Thanks. Bye.